Saint Petersburg, Russian, Saint Petersburg TR. Saint Petersburg, IPA, Saint P. R. Burke Listen is Russia's second largest city after Moscow, with 5 million inhabitants in 2012, part of the Saint Petersburg agglomeration with a population of 6.2 million. 2015. An important Russian port on the Baltic Sea, it has a status of a federal subject, a federal city. Situated on the Neva River, at the head of the Gulf of Finland on the Baltic Sea, it was founded by Tsar Peter the Great on 27 May, OS the 16th of May 1703. On 1 September 1914, the name was changed from St. Petersburg to Petrograd Russian, Petrograd IPA, Peter Grat, on 26 January 1924 to Leningrad Russian, Leningrad IPA, LNN Grat, and on 1 October 1991 back to St. Petersburg. During the periods 1713 to 1728 and 1732 to 1918, St. Petersburg was the capital of Imperial Russia. In 1918, the central government bodies moved to Moscow, which is about 625 kilometers (388 miles) to the southeast. St. Petersburg is one of the most modern cities of Russia, as well as its cultural capital. The historic center of St. Petersburg and related groups of monuments constitute a UNESCO World Heritage Site. St. Petersburg is home to the Hermitage, one of the largest art museums in the world. Many foreign consulates, international corporations, banks and businesses have offices in St. Petersburg. Name An admirer of everything German, Peter the Great originally named the city, Sankt Peterburg Russian, Sankt Peterburg Note that the Russian name lacks the letter S between Peter and Berg. On 1 September 1914, after the outbreak of World War I, the imperial government renamed the city Petrograd Russian, Petrograd IPA, Peter Grat, meaning, Peter's city, in order to expunge the German name Sankt and Berg. On 26 January 1924, shortly after the death of Lenin, it was renamed to Leningrad Russian, Leningrad IPA, LNN Grat, meaning, Lenin City. On 6 September 1991, the original name, Sankt Petersburg, was returned. Today, in English the city is known as, St. Petersburg. Local residents often refer to the city by its shortened nickname, Peter Russian, Peter IPA, P at R. The city's traditional nickname among Russians is the window to the west. History Imperial era Swedish colonists built Nyanskans, a fortress at the mouth of the Neva River in 1611, in what was then called Ingermanland, which was inhabited by Finnic tribe of Ingrians. The small town of Nyen grew up around it. At the end of the 17th century, Peter the Great, who was very interested in seafaring and maritime affairs, wanted Russia to gain a seaport in order to trade with the rest of Europe. He needed a better seaport than the country's main one at the time, Arkhangelsk, which was on the White Sea in the far north and closed to shipping during the winter. On 12 May, OS 1 May 1703, during the Great Northern War, Peter the Great captured Nyanskins and soon replaced the fortress. On 27 May, OS 16 May 1703, closer to the estuary 5 km 3 miles inland from the Gulf, on Zayaki Hare Island, he laid down the Peter and Paul Fortress, which became the first brick and stone building of the new city. The city was built by conscripted peasants from all over Russia. A number of Swedish prisoners of war were also involved in some years under the supervision of Alexander Menshikov. Tens of thousands of serfs died building the city. Later, the city became the center of the St. Petersburg Governorate. Peter moved the capital from Moscow to St. Petersburg in 1712, nine years before the Treaty of Nystad of 1721 ended the war. He referred to St. Petersburg as the capital or seat of government as early as 1704. During its first few years, the city developed around Trinity Square on the right bank of the Neva, near the Peter and Paul Fortress. However, St. Petersburg soon started to be built out according to a plan. By 1716 the Swiss-Italian Domenico Trezzini had elaborated a project whereby the city centre would be located on Vasilyevsky Island and shaped by a rectangular grid of canals. The project was not completed but is evident in the layout of the streets. 
In 1716, Peter the Great appointed Frenchman Jean Baptiste Alexandre Le Blonde as the chief architect of St. Petersburg. The style of Petrine Baroque, developed by Trezini and other architects and exemplified by such buildings as the Menshikov Palace, Kunstkamera, Peter and Paul Cathedral, Twelve Collegia, became prominent in the city architecture of the early 18th century. In 1724 the Academy of Sciences, University and Academic Gymnasium were established in St. Petersburg by Peter the Great. In 1725, Peter died at the age of 52. His endeavors to modernize Russia had met with opposition from the Russian nobility—resulting in several attempts on his life and a treason case involving his son. In 1728, Peter II of Russia moved his seat back to Moscow. But four years later, in 1732, under Empress Anna of Russia, St. Petersburg was again designated as the capital of the Russian Empire. It remained the seat of the Romanov dynasty and the imperial court of the Russian Tsars, as well as the seat of the Russian government, for another 186 years until the Communist Revolution of 1917. In 1736–1737 the city suffered from catastrophic fires. To rebuild the damaged boroughs, a committee under Burkhardt Christoph von Munich commissioned a new plan in 1737. The city was divided into five boroughs, and the city centre was moved to the Admiralty Borough, situated on the east bank between the Neva and Fontanka. It developed along three radial streets, which meet at the Admiralty Building and are now one street known as Nevsky Prospect which is considered the main street of the city, Gorokovaya Street and Voznesensky Prospect. Baroque architecture became dominant in the city during the first 60 years, culminating in the Elizabethan Baroque, represented most notably by Italian Bartolomeo Rastrelli with such buildings as the Winter Palace. In the 1760s, Baroque architecture was succeeded by neoclassical architecture. Established in 1762, the Commission of Stone Buildings of Moscow and St. Petersburg ruled that no structure in the city can be higher than the Winter Palace and prohibited spacing between buildings. During the reign of Catherine the Great in the 1760s to 1780s, the banks of the Neva were lined with granite embankments. However, it was not until 1850 that the first permanent bridge across the Neva, Blagoveshensky Bridge, was allowed to open. Before that, only pontoon bridges were allowed. Obvodny Canal dug in 1769-1833 became the southern limit of the city. The most prominent neoclassical and empire-style architects in St. Petersburg included Jean-Baptiste Vallin de la Moth Imperial Academy of Arts, Small Hermitage, Gostini Dvor, New Holland Arch, Catholic Church of St. Catherine Antonio Rinaldi Marble Palace Yuri Felton Old Hermitage, Chesme Church Giacomo Quarenghi Academy of Sciences, Hermitage Theater, Yusupov Palace Andre Voronikin Mining Institute Kazan Cathedral Andrian Zakharov Admiralty Building Jean-François Thomas de Thoman Spit of Vasilyevsky Island Carlo Rossi Yelijin Palace Mikhailovsky Palace Alexandrine Theater Senate and Synod Buildings General Staff Building Design of Many Streets and Squares Vasily Stasov Moscow Triumphal Gate Trinity Cathedral Auguste de Montferrand St. Isaac's Cathedral, Alexander Column In 1810, Alexander I established the first engineering higher learning institution, the St. Petersburg Main Military Engineering School in St. Petersburg. Many monuments commemorate the Russian victory over Napoleonic France in the Patriotic War of 1812, including the Alexander Column by Montferrand, erected in 1834, and the Narva Triumphal Gate. In 1825, the suppressed Decembrist revolt against Nicholas I took place on the Senate Square in the city, a day after Nicholas assumed the throne. By the 1840s, neoclassical architecture had given way to various Romanticist styles, which dominated until the 1890s, represented by such architects as Andrei Stackenschneider Mariinsky Palace, Belaselsky Belazersky Palace, Nicholas Palace, New Michael Palace and Konstantin Thon Moskovsky Railway Station. With the emancipation of the serfs undertaken by Alexander II in 1861 and an industrial revolution, the influx of former peasants into the capital increased greatly. Poor boroughs spontaneously emerged on the outskirts of the city. St. Petersburg surpassed Moscow in population and industrial growth. It developed as one of the largest industrial cities in Europe, with a major naval base in Kronstadt, river and seaport. 
The names of Saints Peter and Paul, bestowed upon original city's citadel and its cathedral from 1725, a burial vault of Russian emperors coincidentally were the names of the first two assassinated Russian emperors, Peter III 1762, supposedly killed in a conspiracy led by his wife, Catherine the Great and Paul I 1801, Nicholas Zubov and other conspirators who brought to power Alexander I, the son of their victim. The third emperor's assassination took place in St. Petersburg in 1881 when Alexander II fell victim to Narodniki see the Church of the Saviour on Blood. The revolution of 1905 began in St. Petersburg and spread rapidly into the provinces. On 1 September 1914, after the outbreak of World War I, the imperial government renamed the city Petrograd, meaning, Peter's City, to remove the German words Sankt and Berg. <laughs> revolution and Soviet era In March 1917, during the February Revolution Nicholas II abdicated both for himself and on behalf of his son, ending the Russian monarchy and over 300 years of Romanov dynastic rule. On 7 November OS the 25th of October 1917, the Bolsheviks, led by Vladimir Lenin, stormed the Winter Palace in an event known thereafter as the October Revolution, which led to the end of the post-Tsarist provisional government, the transfer of all political power to the Soviets, and the rise of the Communist Party. After that the city acquired a new descriptive name, the City of Three Revolutions, referring to the three major developments in the political history of Russia of the early 20th century. In September and October 1917, German troops invaded the West Estonian archipelago and threatened Petrograd with bombardment and invasion. On 12 March 1918, the Soviets transferred the government to Moscow, to keep it away from the state border. During the ensuing civil war, in 1919 General Yudenich advancing from Estonia repeated the attempt to capture the city, but Leon Trotsky mobilized the army and forced him to retreat. On 26 January 1924, five days after Lenin's death, Petrograd was renamed Leningrad. Later some streets and other toponyms were renamed accordingly. The city has over 230 places associated with the life and activities of Lenin. Some of them were turned into museums, including the cruiser Aurora, a symbol of the October Revolution and the oldest ship in the Russian Navy. In the 1920s and 1930s, the poor outskirts were reconstructed into regularly planned boroughs. Constructivist architecture flourished around that time. Housing became a government-provided amenity. Many bourgeois apartments were so large that numerous families were assigned to what were called communal apartments communalkas. By the 1930s, 68% of the population lived in such housing. In 1935 a new general plan was outlined, whereby the city should expand to the south. Constructivism was rejected in favor of a more pompous Stalinist architecture. Moving the city center further from the border with Finland, Stalin adopted a plan to build a new city hall with a huge adjacent square at the southern end of Moskovsky Prospect, designated as the new main street of Leningrad. After the winter Soviet war in 1939 1940, the Soviet Finnish border moved northwards. Nevsky Prospect with Palace Square maintained the functions and the role of a city center. In December 1931, Leningrad was administratively separated from Leningrad Oblast. At that time it included the Leningrad Suburban District, some parts of which were transferred back to Leningrad Oblast in 1936 and turned into Sevolozhsky District, Krasnoselsky District, Pargolovsky District and Slutsky District renamed Pavlovsky District in 1944. On 1 December 1934, Sergei Kirov, the popular communist leader of Leningrad, was assassinated, which became the pretext for the Great Purge. World War II 1941 During World War II, German forces besieged Leningrad following the Axis invasion of the Soviet Union in June 1941. The siege lasted 872 days, or almost two and a half years, from 8 September 1941 to 27 January 1944, the siege of Leningrad proved one of the longest, most destructive, and most lethal sieges of a major city in modern history. It isolated the city from food supplies except those provided through the road of life across Lake Ladoga, which could not make it through until the lake literally froze. 
More than one million civilians were killed, mainly from starvation. Many others escaped or were evacuated, so the city became largely depopulated. On 1 May 1945 Joseph Stalin, in his Supreme Commander Order No. 20, named Leningrad, alongside Stalingrad, Sevastopol, and Odessa, hero cities of the war. A law acknowledging the honorary title of Hero City passed on 8 May 1965 the 20th anniversary of the victory in the Great Patriotic War, during the Brezhnev era. The Presidium of the Supreme Soviet of the USSR awarded Leningrad as a hero city the Order of Lenin and the Gold Star Medal, "...for the heroic resistance of the city and tenacity of the survivors of the siege." The hero city obelisk bearing the Gold Star sign was installed in April 1985. Soviet era continued 1945 to 1991. In October 1946 some territories along the northern coast of the Gulf of Finland, which had passed to the USSR from Finland in 1940 under the peace treaty following the Winter War, were transferred from Leningrad Oblast to Leningrad and divided into Sestoretsky District and Kurortny District. These included the town of Tarijoki renamed Zelenogorsk in 1948. Leningrad and many of its suburbs were rebuilt over the post-war decades, partially according to pre-war plans. The 1948 General Plan for Leningrad featured radial urban development in the north as well as in the south. In 1953 Pavlovsky District in Leningrad Oblast was abolished, and parts of its territory, including Pavlovsk, merged with Leningrad. In 1954 the settlements Lavashovo, Pargolovo and Pesokny merged with Leningrad. Leningrad gave its name to the Leningrad Affair 1949-1952, a notable event in the post-war political struggle in the USSR. It was a product of rivalry between Stalin's potential successors where one side was represented by the leaders of the city Communist Party organization—the second most significant one in the country after Moscow. The entire elite leadership of Leningrad was destroyed, including the former mayor Kuznetsov, the acting mayor Pyotr Sergeevich Popkov, and all their deputies. Overall, 23 leaders were sentenced to the death penalty, 181 to prison or exile, exonerated in 1954. About 2,000 ranking officials across the USSR were expelled from the party and the Komsomol and removed from leadership positions. They were accused of Russian nationalism. The Leningrad Metro Underground Rapid Transit System, designed before the war, opened in 1955 with its first eight stations decorated with marble and bronze. However, after the death of Stalin in 1953, the perceived ornamental excesses of the Stalinist architecture were abandoned. From the 1960s to the 1980s many new residential boroughs were built on the outskirts, while the functionalist apartment blocks were nearly identical to each other, many families moved there from Komunalkas in the city centre in order to live in separate apartments. <laughs> Contemporary era -present. On 12 June 1991, simultaneously with the first Russian presidential elections, the city authorities arranged for the mayoral elections and a referendum upon the name of the city. The turnout was 65%, 66.13% of the total count of votes went to Anatoly Sobchik, who became the first directly elected mayor of the city. Meanwhile, economic conditions started to deteriorate as the country tried to adapt to major changes. For the first time since the 1940s, food rationing was introduced, and the city received humanitarian food aid from abroad. This dramatic time was depicted in photographic series of Russian photographer Alexei Titarenko. Economic conditions began to improve only at the beginning of the 21st century. In 1995 a northern section of the karovsko viborgskaya line of the St. Petersburg metro was cut off by underground flooding, creating a major obstacle to the city development for almost ten years. In 1996, Vladimir Yakovlev defeated Anatoly Sobchik in the elections for the head of the city administration. The title of the city head was changed from mayor to governor. In 2000 Yakovlev won re-election. His second term expired in 2004. The long awaited restoration of broken subway connection was expected to finish by that time. But in 2003, Yakovlev suddenly resigned, leaving the governor's office to Valentina Matvienko. The law on election of the city governor was changed, breaking the tradition of democratic election by a universal suffrage. 
In 2006 the city legislature re-approved Matvienko as governor. Residential building had intensified again, real estate prices inflated greatly, which caused many new problems for the preservation of the historical part of the city. Although the central part of the city has a UNESCO designation there are about 8,000 architectural monuments in Petersburg, the preservation of its historical and architectural environment became controversial. After 2005, the demolition of older buildings in the historical center was permitted. In 2006 Gazprom announced an ambitious project to erect a 403 meters 1322 feet skyscraper the Okta Center opposite to Smolny which could result in the loss of the unique line of Petersburg landscape Urgent protests by citizens and prominent public figures of Russia against this project were not considered by Governor Valentina Matvienko and the city authorities until December 2010, when after the statement of President Dmitry Medvedev, the city decided to find a more appropriate location for this project. In the same year, the new location for the project was relocated to Lakta, a historical area northwest of the city centre, and the new project would be named Lakta Centre. Construction was approved by Gazprom and the city administration and commenced in 2012. The 462 meters 1516 feet high Lakta center has become the first tallest skyscraper in Russia and Europe that is outside of Moscow. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Geography. The area of St. Petersburg city proper is 605.8 square kilometers, 233.9 square miles. The area of the federal subject is 1439 square kilometers, 556 square miles, which contains St. Petersburg proper, consisting of 81 municipal okrugs, 9 municipal towns, Kolpino, Krasnoye Selo, Kronstadt, Lomonosov, Pavlovsk, Petergof, Pushkin, Sestoretsk, Zelenogorsk, and 21 municipal settlements. Petersburg is situated on the Middle Taiga lowlands along the shores of the Neva Bay of the Gulf of Finland, and islands of the River Delta. The largest are Vasilyevsky Island besides the artificial island between Obvodny Canal and Fontanka, and Kotlin in the Neva Bay, Petrogradsky, Dekabristov and Krestovsky. The latter together with Yelijin and Kamini Island are covered mostly by parks. The Karelian Isthmus, north of the city, is a popular resort area. In the south St. Petersburg crosses the Baltic Ladoga Clint and meets the Izhora Plateau. The elevation of St. Petersburg ranges from the sea level to its highest point of 175.9 meters feet at the Orokovaya Hill in the Duderhof Heights in the south. Part of the city's territory west of Lightini Prospect is no higher than 4 meters feet above sea level, and has suffered from numerous floods. Floods in St. Petersburg are triggered by a long wave in the Baltic Sea, caused by meteorological conditions, winds and shallowness of the Neva Bay. The five most disastrous floods occurred in 1824 4.21 meters or 13 feet 10 in above sea level, during which over 300 buildings were destroyed, 1924 3.8 meters, 12 feet 6 in, 1777 3.21 meters, 10 feet 6 in, 1955 2.93 meters, 9 feet 7 in, and 1975 2.81 meters, 9 feet 3 in. To prevent floods, the St. Petersburg Dam has been constructed. Since the 18th century, the terrain in the city has been raised artificially, at some places by more than 4 meters, 13 feet, making mergers of several islands, and changing the hydrology of the city. Besides the Neva and its tributaries, other important rivers of the federal subject of St. Petersburg are Sestra, Okta, and Izhora. The largest lake is Sestoretsky Razliv in the north, followed by Loktinsky Razliv, Suzdal Lakes, and other smaller lakes. Due to its northerly location at ca. 60 degrees north latitude the day length in Petersburg varies across seasons, ranging from 5 hours 53 minutes to 18 hours 50 minutes. A period from mid-May to mid-July when twilight may last all night is called the White Nights. St. Petersburg is about 165 kilometers 103 miles from the border with Finland, connected to it via the M10 highway. Climate Under the Köppen climate classification, St. Petersburg is classified as DFB, a humid continental climate. Distinct moderating influence of the Baltic Sea cyclones result in warm, humid and short summers and long, moderately cold wet winters. 
The climate of St. Petersburg is close to that of Helsinki, although colder in winter and warmer in summer because of its more eastern location. The average maximum temperature in July is 23 degrees Celsius degrees Fahrenheit, and the average minimum temperature in February is minus 8.5 degrees Celsius .7 degrees Fahrenheit, an extreme temperature of 37.1 degrees Celsius .8 degrees Fahrenheit occurred during the 2010 Northern Hemisphere summer heat wave. A winter minimum of -35.9 degrees Celsius (-32.6 degrees Fahrenheit) was recorded in 1883. The average annual temperature is 5.8 degrees Celsius (42.4 degrees Fahrenheit). The Neva River within the city limits usually freezes up in November to December and breakup occurs in April. From December to March there are 118 days average with snow cover, which reaches an average snow depth of 19 cm by February. The frost-free period in the city lasts on average for about 135 days. Despite St. Petersburg's northern location, its winters are warmer than Moscow's due to the Gulf of Finland and some Gulf Stream influence from Scandinavian winds that can bring temperatures slightly above freezing. The city also has a slightly warmer climate than its suburbs. Weather conditions are quite variable all year round. Topic. Toponymy The first and fairly rich chapter of the history of the local toponymy is the story of the own name of the city itself. The name day of Peter I falls on 29 June, when the Russian Orthodox Church observes the memory of St. Apostles Peter and Paul. The consecration of the small wooden church in their names its construction began simultaneously with the citadel made them the heavenly patrons of the Peter and Paul fortress, while St. Peter at the same time became the eponym of the whole city. In June 1703 Peter the Great officially gave the site the name Sankt Peter Burke an emulation of Dutch topographical suffix Berg, which refers to fortified towns and places, as Peter was a nearlandophile which was subsequently Russified. A 14 to 15 letter long name, composed of the three roots proved too cumbersome, and a lot of shortened versions appeared in habitual use. The first general governor of the city Menshikov is maybe also the author of the first nickname of Petersburg which he called Petri, Petri. It took some years until the known Russian spelling of this name finally settled. In 1740s Mikhail Lomonosov uses a derivative of Greek, Petropolis Petropolis, Petropolis in a Russified form Petropol, Pitterpol. A combo Pitterpol, Pitterpol also appears at this time. In any case, eventually the usage of prefix sanct ceased except for the formal official documents, where a three-letter abbreviation spibi, SPB was very widely used as well. In the 1830s Alexander Pushkin translated the foreign city name of St. Petersburg to the more Russian Petrograd in one of his poems. However, it was only on the 31st of August, OS the 18th of August 1914, after the war with Germany had begun, that Tsar Nicholas II renamed the capital to Petrograd. Since the prefix saint was omitted, this act also changed the eponym and the patron of the city from Apostle Peter to Peter the Great, its founder. After the October Revolution, the name Red Petrograd, Krasnij Petrograd was often used in newspapers and other prints until the city was renamed Leningrad in January 1924. A referendum on reversing the renaming of Leningrad was held on the 12th of June 1991 with 54.86% of voters with a turnout of 65% supporting St. Petersburg. Renaming the city Petrograd was not an option. This change officially took effect on 6 September 1991. Meanwhile, the oblast whose administrative center is also in St. Petersburg is still named Leningrad. Having passed the role of capital to Petersburg, Moscow never relinquished the title of capital, being called Pervoprestolnaya, first throned, for 200 years. An equivalent name for Petersburg, the northern capital has re-entered usage today since several federal institutions were recently moved from Moscow to St. Petersburg. Solemn descriptive names like the City of Three Revolutions and the Cradle of the October Revolution used in Soviet era are reminders of the pivotal events in national history that occurred here. For their part, poetic names of the city, like the Venice of the North and the Northern Palmyra 
emphasize town planning and architectural features contrasting these parallels to the northern location of this megalopolis. Petropolis is a translation of a city name to Greek, and is also a kind of descriptive name. Pater is a Greek root for stone, so the city from stone emphasizes the material that had been forcibly made obligatory for construction from the very first years of the city. Its official Greek name is Agia Petrupol. Demographics St. Petersburg is the second largest city in Russia. As of the 2017 Rostat, the federal subject's population is 5,281,579 or 3.6% of the total population of Russia, up from 4,879,566 recorded in the 2010 census, and up from 5,023,506 recorded in the 1989 census. Vital statistics for 2016 births, 72,879 13.9 per 1,000 Deaths, 61,459 11.7 per 1,000 Total fertility rate, the 2010 census recorded the ethnic composition as follows, Russian 80.1%, Ukrainian 1.3%, Belarusians 0.8%, Tatar 0.6%, Armenian 0.6%, Jewish 0.5%, Uzbek 0.4%, Tajik 0.3%, Azeri 0.3%, Georgian 0.2%, Moldovan 0.2%, Finns 0.1%, other 1.3%. The ethnicity of the remaining 13.4% of the inhabitants was not specified. During the 20th century, the city experienced dramatic population changes. From 2.4 million residents in 1916 its population dropped to less than 740,000 by 1920 during the Russian Revolution of 1917 and Russian Civil War. The minorities of Germans, Poles, Finns, Estonians and Latvians were almost completely transferred from Leningrad during the 1930s. From 1941 to the end of 1943, population dropped from 3 million to less than 600,000, as people died in battles, starved to death during the siege of Leningrad, or were evacuated. After the siege, some of the evacuees returned, but most influx was due to migration from other parts of the Soviet Union. The city absorbed about 3 million people in the 1950s and grew to over 5 million in the 1980s. From 1991 to 2006 the city's population decreased to 4.6 million, while the suburban population increased due to privatization of land and massive move to suburbs. Based on the 2010 census results the population is over 4.8 million. The birth rate remained lower than the death rate until the 2012, people over 65 constitute more than 20% of the population, and the median age is about 40 years. Since 2012 the birth rate became higher than the death rate People in urban St. Petersburg lived mostly in apartments. Between 1918 and the 1990s, the Soviets nationalized housing and forced residents to share communal apartments communalkas. With 68% living in shared flats in the 1930s, Leningrad was the city in the USSR with the largest number of kommunalkas. Resettling residents of kommunalkas is now on the way out, albeit shared apartments are still not uncommon. As new boroughs were built on the outskirts in the 1950s to 1980s, over half a million low-income families eventually received free apartments, and about an additional 100,000 condos were purchased. While economic and social activity is concentrated in the historic city center, the richest part of St. Petersburg, most people live in commuter areas. For the first half of 2007, the birth rate was 9.1 per 1,000. Religion The previous table showing religious membership within St. Petersburg shows that roughly half of the population are Russian Orthodoxy. Topic. Government St. Petersburg is a federal subject of Russia a federal city. The political life of St. Petersburg is regulated by the Charter of St. Petersburg adopted by the city legislature in 1998. The superior executive body is the St. Petersburg City Administration, led by the city governor mayor before 1996. 
St. Petersburg has a single chamber legislature, the St. Petersburg Legislative Assembly, which is the city's regional parliament. According to the federal law passed in 2004, heads of federal subjects, including the governor of St. Petersburg, were nominated by the President of Russia and approved by local legislatures. Should the legislature disapprove the nominee, the president could dissolve it. The former governor, Valentina Matvienko, was approved according to the new system in December 2006. She was the only woman governor in the whole of Russia until her resignation on the 22nd of August 2011. Matvienko stood for elections as member of the Regional Council of St. Petersburg and won comprehensively with allegations of rigging and ballot stuffing by the opposition. Russian President Dmitry Medvedev has already backed her for the position of Speaker to the Federation Council of the Federal Assembly of the Russian Federation and her election qualifies her for that job. After her resignation, Georgi Poltovchenko was appointed as the new acting governor the same day. In 2012, following passage of a new federal law, restoring direct elections of heads of federal subjects, the city charter was again amended to provide for direct elections of governor. On 3 October 2018, Poltovchenko resigned, and Alexander Beglov was appointed acting governor. St. Petersburg City is divided into 18 districts. St. Petersburg is also the unofficial but de facto administrative center of Leningrad Oblast, and of the Northwestern Federal District. The Constitutional Court of Russia moved to St. Petersburg from Moscow in May 2008. St. Petersburg and Leningrad Oblast, being two different federal subjects, share a number of local departments of federal executive agencies and courts, such as Court of Arbitration, Police, FSB, Postal Service, Drug Enforcement Administration, Penitentiary Service, Federal Registration Service, and other federal services. Economy. St. Petersburg is a major trade gateway, serving as the financial and industrial center of Russia, with specializations in oil and gas trade, shipbuilding yards, aerospace industry, technology, including radio, electronics, software, and computers, machine building, heavy machinery and transport, including tanks and other military equipment, mining, instrument manufacture, ferrous and non-ferrous metallurgy, production of aluminium alloys, chemicals, pharmaceuticals, and medical equipment, publishing and printing, food and catering, wholesale and retail, textile and apparel industries, and many other businesses. It was also home to Lesnar, one of Russia's two pioneering automobile manufacturers along with Russo-Baltic. It was founded by machine tool and boiler maker G. A. Lesnar in 1904, with designs by Boris Lautsky, and it survived until 1910. 10% of the world's power turbines are made there at the LMZ, which built over 2,000 turbines for power plants across the world. Major local industries are Admiralty Shipyard, Baltic Shipyard, Lomo, Kirov Plant, Electrosilla, Izhorsky Zavadi. Also registered in St. Petersburg are Sovkomflow, Petersburg Fuel Company and Seabor among other major Russian and international companies. St. Petersburg has three large cargo seaports, Bolshoi Port St. Petersburg, Kronstadt, and Lomonosov. International cruise liners have been served at the passenger port at Morskoy Voksel on the southwest of Vasilyevsky Island. In 2008 the first two berths were opened at the new passenger port on the west of the island. The new port is part of the city's marine facade development project and is due to have seven berths in operation by 2010. A complex system of river ports on both banks of the Neva River are interconnected with the system of seaports, thus making St. Petersburg the main link between the Baltic Sea and the rest of Russia through the Volga Baltic Waterway. The St. Petersburg Mint founded in 1724, is one of the largest mints in the world, it mints Russian coins, medals and badges. St. Petersburg is also home to the oldest and largest Russian foundry, Monument Sculptura, which made thousands of sculptures and statues that are now gracing public parks of St. Petersburg, as well as many other cities. Monuments and bronze statues of the Tsars, as well as other important historic figures and dignitaries, and other world-famous monuments, such as the sculptures by Peter Klot von Jurgensberg, Paolo Trubetskoy, Mark Antikolsky, and others, were made there. In 2007, Toyota opened a Camry plant after investing 5 billion rubles approximately $200 million in Shushery, one of the southern suburbs of St. Petersburg. Opel, Hyundai and Nissan have signed deals with the Russian government to build their automotive plants in St. Petersburg too. 
automotive and auto parts industry is on the rise there during the last decade. St. Petersburg is the location of a significant brewery and distillery industry. It is known as the beer capital of Russia, due to the supply and quality of local water, contributing over 30% of the domestic production of beer with its five large-scale breweries including Europe's second-largest brewery Baltica, Vena both operated by BBH, Heineken Brewery, Stepan Raisin both by Heineken and Tinkoff Brewery Sun Inbev. The city has a lot of local distilleries that produce a broad range of vodka brands. The oldest ones is Liviz founded in 1897. Among the youngest is Russian Standard Vodka introduced in Moscow in 1998, which opened in 2006 a new $60 million distillery in Petersburg an area of 30,000 square meters 320,000 square feet, production rate of 22,500 bottles per hour. In 2007 this brand was exported to over 70 countries. St. Petersburg has the second largest construction industry in Russia, including commercial, housing and road construction. In 2006 St. Petersburg's city budget was 179.9 billion rubles about $6.651 billion at 2006 exchange rates, and is planned to double by 2012. The federal subject's gross regional product as of 2016 was 3.7 trillion Russian rubles or $55 billion, ranked fourth in Russia, after Moscow, Tyumen Oblast, and Moscow Oblast, and per capita of $10,000, ranked twelfth among Russia's federal subjects, contributed mostly by wholesale and retail trade and repair services 24.7% as well as processing industry 20.9% and transportation and telecommunications 15.1%. Budget revenues of the city in 2009 amounted to 294.3 billion rubles, about 10.044 billion dollars at 2009 exchange rates. Expenses 336.3 billion rubles, about 11.477 billion dollars at 2009 exchange rates. The budget deficit amounted to about 42 billion rubles, about 1. 433 billion dollars at 2009 exchange rates. By 2015, St. Petersburg takes the fourth place on economy scales among all subjects of the Russian Federation, conceding only to Moscow, the Tyumen and Moscow region. <inaudible> Cityscape St. Petersburg has three skyscrapers, Leader Tower 140 meters, Alexander Nevsky 124 meters, and Atlantic City 105 meters, all three being situated far away from the historical center. Regulations forbid construction of tall buildings in the city center. The 310-meter tall St. Petersburg TV Tower is the tallest completed structure in the city. However, there was a controversial project endorsed by the city authorities, and known as the Okta Center, to build a 396 meters 1,299 feet supertall skyscraper. In 2008, the World Monuments Fund included the St. Petersburg Historic Skyline on the watch list of the 100 most endangered sites due to the expected construction, which threatens to alter it drastically. The Okta Center project has been finally cancelled at the end of 2010 and instead of that Lokta Center project is started at the city outskirts. The complex will include 463-meter-tall office skyscraper and several low-rise mixed-use buildings. The Lokta Center project has caused much less controversy and, unlike the previous unbuilt project, is not seen by UNESCO as a potential threat to the city's cultural heritage because it is located far away from the historical center. Skyscraper construction has already started, and the building is set to be completed in 2018. It is assumed that the building will be the tallest in Russia and Europe, unlike in Moscow, in St. Petersburg the historic architecture of the city center, mostly consisting of Baroque and neoclassical buildings of the 18th and 19th centuries, has been largely preserved, although a number of buildings were demolished after the Bolshevik seizure of power, during the siege of Leningrad and in recent years. The oldest of the remaining building is a wooden house built for Peter I in 1703 on the shore of the Neva near Trinity Square. Since 1991 the historic center of St. Petersburg and related groups of monuments in St. Petersburg and Leningrad Oblast have been listed by UNESCO as a World Heritage Site. The ensemble of Peter and Paul Fortress with the Peter and Paul Cathedral takes a dominant position on Zayaki Island along the right bank of the Neva River. 
Each noon a cannon fires a blank shot from the fortress. The St. Petersburg Mosque, the largest mosque in Europe when opened in 1913, is situated on the right bank nearby. The spit of Vasilyevsky Island, which splits the river into two largest armlets, the Bolshaya Neva and Malaya Neva, is connected to the northern bank Petrogradsky Island via the Exchange Bridge and occupied by the old St. Petersburg Stock Exchange and Rostral Columns. The southern coast of Vasilyevsky Island along the Bolshaya Neva features some of the city's oldest buildings, dating from the 18th century, including the Kunstkamera, Twelve Collegia, Menshikov Palace and Imperial Academy of Arts. It hosts one of two campuses of St. Petersburg State University, on the southern, left bank of the Neva, connected to the spit of Vasilyevsky Island via the Palace Bridge, lie the Admiralty Building, the vast Hermitage Museum complex stretching along the Palace Embankment, which includes the Baroque Winter Palace, former official residence of Russian emperors, as well as the neoclassical Marble Palace. The Winter Palace faces Palace Square, the city's main square with the Alexander Column. Nevsky Prospect, also situated on the left bank of the Neva, is the main avenue in the city. It starts at the Admiralty and runs eastwards next to Palace Square. Nevsky Prospect crosses the Moika Green Bridge, Griboyadov Canal, Kazansky Bridge, Garden Street, the Fontanka Anichkov Bridge, meets Lydini Prospect and proceeds to Uprising Square near the Moskovsky Railway Station, where it meets Ligovsky Prospect and turns to the Alexander Nevsky Lavra. The Passage, Catholic Church of St. Catherine, Book House former Singer Manufacturing Company building in the Art Nouveau style, Grand Hotel Europe, Lutheran Church of St. Peter and St. Paul, Great Gostini Dvor, Russian National Library, Alexandrine Theatre behind Mikishin's statue of Catherine the Great, Kazan Cathedral, Stroganov Palace, Anichkov Palace and Belosselsky Belozersky Palace are all situated along that avenue. The Alexander Nevsky Lavra, intended to house the relics of St. Alexander Nevsky, is an important center of Christian education in Russia. It also contains the Tikvin Cemetery with graves of many notable Petersburgers. On the territory between the Neva and Nevsky Prospect the Church of the Savior on Blood, Mikhailovsky Palace housing the Russian Museum, Field of Mars, St. Michael's Castle, Summer Garden, Tauride Palace, Smolny Institute and Smolny Convent are located. Many notable landmarks are situated to the west and south of the Admiralty Building, including the Trinity Cathedral, Mariinsky Palace, Hotel Astoria, famous Mariinsky Theatre, New Holland Island, St. Isaac's Cathedral, the largest in the city, and Senate Square, also known as Decembrist Square with the Bronze Horseman, 18th-century equestrian monument to Peter the Great, which is considered among the city's most recognizable symbols. Other symbols of St. Petersburg include the weather vane in the shape of a small ship on top of the Admiralty's Golden Spire and the Golden Angel on top of the Peter and Paul Cathedral. The palace bridge drawn at night is yet another symbol of the city. Every night during the navigation period from April to November, 22 bridges across the Neva and main canals are drawn to let ships pass in and out of the Baltic Sea according to a schedule. It was not until 2004 that the first high bridge across the Neva, which does not need to be drawn, Big Obakovsky Bridge, was opened. There are hundreds of smaller bridges in St. Petersburg spanning across numerous canals and distributaries of the Neva, some of the most important of which are the Moika, Fontanka, Griboyadov Canal, Obvodny Canal, Karpovka and Smolenka. Due to the intricate web of canals, St. Petersburg is often called Venice of the North. The rivers and canals in the city center are lined with granite embankments. The embankments and bridges are separated from rivers and canals by granite or cast iron parapets. Southern suburbs of the city feature former imperial residences, including Petergoff, with majestic fountain cascades and parks, Tsarskoye Silo, with the Baroque Catherine Palace and the neoclassical Alexander Palace, and Pavlovsk, which contains a domed palace of Emperor Paul and one of the largest English style parks in Europe. Some other residences situated nearby and making part of the World Heritage Site, including a castle and park in Gatchina, actually belong to Leningrad Oblast rather than St. Petersburg. Another notable suburb is Kronstadt with its 19th-century fortifications and naval monuments, occupying the Kotlin Island in the Gulf of Finland. Since around the end of the 20th century a great deal of active building and restoration works have been carried out in a number of the city's older districts. The authorities have recently been compelled to transfer the ownership of state-owned private residences in the city centre to private lessers. Many older buildings have been reconstructed to allow their use as apartments and penthouses. 
Some of these structures, such as the St. Petersburg Commodity and Stock Exchange have been recognized as town planning errors. Tourism St. Petersburg has a significant historical and cultural heritage. The 18th and 19th century architectural ensemble of the city and its environs is preserved in virtually unchanged form. For various reasons, including large scale destruction during World War II and construction of modern buildings during the post war period in the largest historical centres of Europe, St. Petersburg has become a unique reserve of European architectural styles of the past three centuries. St. Petersburg's loss of capital city status helped the city to retain many of its pre-revolutionary buildings, as modern architectural prestige projects tended to be built in Moscow. This largely prevented the rise of mid-to-late 20th-century architecture and helped maintain the architectural appearance of the historic city center. St. Petersburg is inscribed on the UNESCO World Heritage List as an area with 36 historical architectural complexes and around 4,000 outstanding individual monuments of architecture, history and culture. New tourist programs and sightseeing tours have been developed for those wishing to see St. Petersburg's cultural heritage. The city has 221 museums, 2,000 libraries, more than 80 theaters, 100 concert organizations, 45 galleries and exhibition halls, 62 cinemas and around 80 other cultural establishments. Every year the city hosts around 100 festivals and various competitions of art and culture, including more than 50 international ones. Despite the economic instability of the 1990s, not a single major theater or museum was closed in St. Petersburg. On the contrary, many new ones opened. For example, a private museum of puppets opened in 1999 is the third museum of its kind in Russia, where collections of more than 2000 dolls are presented including the Multinational St. Petersburg and Pushkin's Petersburg. The museum world of St. Petersburg is incredibly diverse. The city is not only home to the world-famous Hermitage Museum and the Russian Museum with its rich collection of Russian art, but also the palaces of St. Petersburg and its suburbs, so-called small-town museums and others like the Museum of Famous Russian Writer Dostoevsky, Museum of Musical Instruments, the Museum of Decorative Arts and the Museum of Professional Orientation. The musical life of St. Petersburg is rich and diverse, with the city now playing host to a number of annual carnivals. Ballet performances occupy a special place in the cultural life of St. Petersburg. The Petersburg School of Ballet is named as one of the best in the world. Traditions of the Russian classical school have been passed down from generation to generation among outstanding educators. The art of famous and prominent St. Petersburg dancers like Rudolf Nureyev, Natalia Makarova, Mikhail Barishnikov was, and is, admired throughout the world. Contemporary Petersburg ballet is made up not only of traditional Russian classical school, but also ballets by those like Boris Eifman, who expanded the scope of strict classical Russian ballet to almost unimaginable limits. Remaining faithful to the classical basis he was a choreographer at the Vaganova Academy of Russian Ballet, he combined classical ballet with the avant-garde style, and then, in turn, with acrobatics, rhythmic gymnastics, dramatic expressiveness, cinema, color, light, and finally with spoken word. <laughs> Media and communications All major Russian newspapers are active in St. Petersburg. The city has a developed telecommunications system. In 2014 Rostelecom, the national operator announced it began a major modernization of the fixed-line network in the city. Television networks that can be received in the city Radio stations Topic. Culture Topic. Museums St. Petersburg is home to more than 200 museums, many of them hosted in historic buildings. The largest of the museums is the Hermitage Museum, featuring interiors of the former imperial residence and a vast collection of art. The Russian Museum is a large museum devoted specifically to Russian fine art. The apartments of some famous Petersburgers, including Alexander Pushkin, Fyodor Dostoevsky, Nikolai Rimsky-Korsakov, Fyodor Shalapin, Alexander Bloch, Vladimir Nabokov, Anna Akhmatova, Mikhail Zoshchenko, Joseph Brodsky, as well as some palace and park ensembles of the southern suburbs and notable architectural monuments such as St. Isaac's Cathedral, have also been turned into public museums. 
The Kunstkamera, with its collection established in 1714 by Peter the Great to collect curiosities from all over the world, is sometimes considered the first museum in Russia, which has evolved into the present-day Peter the Great Museum of Anthropology and Ethnography. The Russian Ethnography Museum, which has been split from the Russian Museum, is devoted to the cultures of the people of Russia, the former Soviet Union and Russian Empire. A number of museums provide insight into the Soviet history of St. Petersburg, including the Museum of the Blockade, which describes the Siege of Leningrad and the Museum of Political History, which explains many authoritarian features of the USSR. Other notable museums include the Central Naval Museum, and Zoological Museum, Central Soil Museum, the Russian Railway Museum, Suvorov Museum, Museum of the Siege of Leningrad, Arata Museum of Contemporary Art, the largest non-governmental museum of contemporary art in Russia, St. Petersburg Museum of History in the Peter and Paul Fortress and Artillery Museum, which includes not only artillery items, but also a huge collection of other military equipment, uniforms and decorations. Topic. Music Among the city's more than 50 theaters is the world-famous Mariinsky Theater also known as the Kirov Theater in the USSR, home to the Mariinsky Ballet Company and Opera. Leading ballet dancers, such as Vaslav Nijinsky, Anna Pavlova, Rudolf Narayev, Mikhail Baryshnikov, Galina Ulanova and Natalia Makarova, were principal stars of the Mariinsky Ballet. The first music school, the St. Petersburg Conservatory, was founded in 1862 by the Russian pianist and composer Anton Rubinstein. The school alumni have included such notable composers as Pyotr Tchaikovsky, Sergei Prokofiev, Artur Kapp, Rudolf Tobias and Dmitry Shostakovich, who taught at the conservatory during the 1960s, bringing it additional fame. The renowned Russian composer Nikolai Rimsky-Korsakov also taught at the conservatory from 1871 to 1905. Among his students were Igor Stravinsky, Alexander Glazunov, Anatoly Lyadov and others. The former St. Petersburg apartment of Rimsky-Korsakov has been faithfully preserved as the composer's only museum. Dmitry Shostakovich, who was born and raised in St. Petersburg, dedicated his Seventh Symphony to the city, calling it the Leningrad Symphony. He wrote the symphony while based in the city during the Siege of Leningrad. It was premiered in Samara in March 1942. A few months later, it received its first performance in the besieged Leningrad at the Bolshoi Philharmonic Hall under the baton of conductor Karl Eliasberg. It was heard over the radio and was said to have lifted the spirits of the surviving population. In 1992, the Seventh Symphony was performed by the 14 surviving orchestral players of the Leningrad premiere in the same hall as half a century before. The Leningrad Philharmonic Orchestra remained one of the best-known symphony orchestras in the world under the leadership of conductors Yevgeny Muravinsky and Yuri Temerkanov. Muravinsky's term as artistic director of the Leningrad Philharmonic, a term that is possibly the longest of any conductor with any orchestra in modern times, led the orchestra from being a little-known provincial ensemble to it becoming one of the world's most highly regarded orchestras today, especially for the performance of Russian music. The Imperial Choral Capella was founded and modeled after the royal courts of other European capitals. St. Petersburg has been home to the newest movements in popular music in the country. The first jazz band in the Soviet Union was founded here by Leonid Utyosev in the 1920s, under the patronage of Isaac Dunayevsky. The first jazz club in the Soviet Union was founded here in the 1950s and was later named Jazz Club KVA Drat. In 1956 the popular ensemble Druzhba was founded by Alexander Bronovitsky and Adita Pika to become the first popular band in the USSR during the 1950s. In the 1960s student rock groups Argonavti, Kahevniki and others pioneered a series of unofficial and underground rock concerts and festivals. In 1972 Boris Grabinshikov founded the band Aquarium, which later grew to huge popularity. Since then, Peter's Rock music style was formed. In the 1970s many bands came out from the underground Seen and eventually founded the Leningrad Rock Club, which provided a stage to bands such as DDT, Kino, headed by Victor Soy, Elisa, Zemlyan, Zupark, Picnic, Secret, and many other popular bands. The first Russian-style happening show Pop Mechanica, mixing over 300 people and animals on stage, was directed by the multi-talented Sergei Kuryokin in the 1980s. 
The annual international music festival Skiff Sergei Karyokin International Festival is named after him. In 2004 the Karyokin Center was founded, where the Skiff as well as the Electro-Mechanica and Ethnomechanica festivals take place. Skiff focuses on experimental pop music and avant-garde music, Electro-Mechanica on electronic music, and Ethnomechanica on world music. Today's St. Petersburg boasts many notable musicians of various genres, from popular Leningrad Sergei Shnurov, to Kilijaz, Splian, and Koral I Shut, to rock veterans Yuri Shevchuk, Vyacheslav Budasov, and Mikhail Boyarsky. In the early 2000s the city saw a wave of popularity of metalcore, rapcore, and emacore, and there are bands such as Amatori, Kirpachi, Psykia, Stigmata, Grenauer and Animal Jazz. The White Knights Festival in St. Petersburg is famous for spectacular fireworks and a massive show celebrating the end of the school year. The rave band Little Big also hails from St. Petersburg. Film Over 250 international and Russian movies were filmed in St. Petersburg. Well over a thousand feature films about czars, revolution, people and stories set in St. Petersburg have been produced worldwide but not filmed in the city. The first film studios were founded in St. Petersburg in the 20th century and since the 1920s Lenfilm has been the largest film studio based in St. Petersburg. The first foreign feature movie filmed entirely in St. Petersburg was the 1997 production of Tolstoy's Anna Karenina, starring Sophie Marceau and Sean Bean and made by an international team of British, American, French and Russian filmmakers. The cult comedy Irony of Fate also Ironya Sudby, Ely S. Legkum Parham is set in St. Petersburg and pokes fun at Soviet city planning. The 1985 film White Nights received considerable Western attention for having captured genuine Leningrad street scenes at a time when filming in the Soviet Union by Western production companies was generally unheard of. Other movies include Goldeneye 1995, Midnight in St. Petersburg 1996, Brother 1997, and Tamil romantic thriller film Dom Doom 2008. Onegin 1999 is based on the Pushkin poem and showcases many tourist attractions. In addition, the Russian romantic comedy, Peter F.M., intricately showcases the cityscape, almost as if it were a main character in the film. Several international film festivals are held annually, such as the Festival of Festivals, St. Petersburg, as well as the Message to Man International Documentary Film Festival, since its inauguration in 1988 during the White Nights. Topic. Literature St. Petersburg has a long-standing and world-famous tradition in literature. Dostoevsky called it, "...the most abstract and intentional city in the world," emphasizing its artificiality, but it was also a symbol of modern disorder in a changing Russia. It frequently appeared to Russian writers as a menacing and inhuman mechanism. The grotesque and often nightmarish image of the city is featured in Pushkin's last poems, the Petersburg stories of Gogol, the novels of Dostoevsky, the verse of Alexander Bloch and Osip Mandelstam, and in the symbolist novel Petersburg by Andrei Belay. According to Lotman in his chapter, The Symbolism of St. Petersburg in Universe and the Mind, these writers were inspired by symbolism from within the city itself. The effect of life in St. Petersburg on the plight of the poor clerk in a society obsessed with hierarchy and status also became an important theme for authors such as Pushkin, Gogol and Dostoevsky. Another important feature of early St. Petersburg literature is its mythical element, which incorporates urban legends and popular ghost stories, as the stories of Pushkin and Gogol included ghosts returning to St. Petersburg to haunt other characters as well as other fantastical elements, creating a surreal and abstract image of St. Petersburg. 20th century writers from St. Petersburg, such as Vladimir Nabokov, Ayn Rand, Andrei Belay, and Yevgeny Zamyatin, along with his apprentices, the Serapian brothers created entire new styles in literature and contributed new insights to the understanding of society through their experience in this city. Anna Akhmatova became an important leader for Russian poetry. Her poem Requiem adumbrates the perils encountered during the Stalinist era. Another notable 20th-century writer from St. Petersburg is Joseph Brodsky, recipient of the Nobel Prize in Literature 1987. While living in the United States, his writings in English reflected on life in St. Petersburg from the unique perspective of being both an insider and an outsider to the city in essays such as, 
A Guide to a Renamed City, and the nostalgic In a Room and a Half. Topic: <laughs> Education. As of 2006-2007 there were 1024 kindergartens, 716 public schools and 80 vocational schools in St. Petersburg. The largest of the public higher education institutions is St. Petersburg State University, enrolling approximately 32,000 undergraduate students, and the largest non-governmental higher education institutions is the Institute of International Economic Relations, Economics, and Law. Other famous universities are St. Petersburg Polytechnic University, Herzen University, St. Petersburg State University of Economics and Finance and St. Petersburg Military Engineering Technical University. However, the public universities are all federal property and do not belong to the city. Sports Leningrad hosted part of the association football tournament during the 1980 Summer Olympics. The 1994 Goodwill Games were also held here. In boating, the first competition here was the 1703 rowing event initiated by Peter the Great, after the victory over the Swedish fleet. Yachting events were held by the Russian Navy since the foundation of the city. Yacht clubs, St. Petersburg River Yacht Club, Neva Yacht Club, the latter is the oldest yacht club in the world. In the winter, when the sea and lake surfaces are frozen and yachts and dinghies cannot be used, local people sail ice boats. Equestrianism has been a long tradition, popular among the czars and aristocracy, as well as part of military training. Several historic sports arenas were built for equestrianism since the 18th century, to maintain training all year round, such as the Zimny Stadion and Konogverdysky Menez, among others. Chess tradition was highlighted by the 1914 International Tournament, partially funded by the Tsar, in which the title, Grand Master, was first formally conferred by Russian Tsar Nicholas II to five players, Lasker, Capablanca, Alekhein, Teresh and Marshall. Kirov Stadium with a capacity of 70,000 seats now a modern New Zenit stadium since 2017 which will host 2018 FIFA World Cup matches was one of the largest stadiums in the world and home to FC Zenit St. Petersburg from 1950 to 1993 and again in 1995. In 1951 a crowd of 110,000 set the single game attendance record for Soviet football. In 1984, 2007, 2010 and 2011 2012 Zenit were the champions of the Soviet and Russian leagues, respectively, and won the Russian Cup in 1999 and 2010, the UEFA Cup 2007-08 season and the 2008 UEFA Super Cup. The team leader was local player Andrei Arshavin. There is also a second professional football club in St. Petersburg, FC Dynamo St. Petersburg, which is owned by the historic Dynamo Sports Society. Hockey teams in the city include SKA St. Petersburg in the KHL, HCVMF St. Petersburg in the VHL, and junior clubs SKA 1946 and Silver Lions in the Russian Major League. SKA St. Petersburg is one of the most popular in the KHL, consistently being at or near the top of the league in attendance. Along with their popularity, they are one of the best teams in the KHL right now, as they have won the Gagarin Cup twice. Well-known players on the team include Pavel Datsuk, Ilya Kovalchuk, Nikita Gusev, Sergei Shirokov and Viktor Tikhonov. During the NHL lockout, stars Ilya Kovalchuk, Sergei Bobrovsky and Vladimir Tarasenko also played for the team. They play their home games at Ice Palace St. Petersburg. The city's longtime basketball team is BC Kondrashin Belov, which launched the career of Andrei Kirilenko. Kondrashin Belov won two championships in the USSR Premier League 1975 and 1992, two USSR Cups 1978 and 1987, and a Russian Cup title 2011. They also won the Supporta Cup twice 1973 and 1975. Legends of the club include Alexander Belov and Vladimir Kondrashin. The city also has a new basketball team, BC Zenit St. Petersburg. 2018 FIFA World Cup In 2018, St. Petersburg hosted several matches of the 2018 FIFA World Cup. It hosted group stage games, a round of 16 game, a semi-final and a third place match. All games were played at Krestovsky Stadium. 
The Kanyushenaya Square served as a venue for the FIFA Fan Fest. Infrastructure Transportation St. Petersburg is a major transport hub. The first Russian railway was built here in 1837, and since then the city's transport infrastructure has continued to develop and keep pace with the growth of the city. Petersburg has an extensive system of local roads and railway services, maintains a large public transport system that includes the St. Petersburg Tram and the St. Petersburg Metro, and is home to a number of riverine services that convey passengers around the city efficiently and in relative comfort. The city is connected to the rest of Russia and the wider world by a number of federal highways and national and international rail routes. Polkova Airport serves the majority of air passengers departing from or arriving to the city. Topic. Roads and public transport St. Petersburg has an extensive city-funded network of public transport buses, trams, trolleybuses and several hundred routes served by marshritkas. Trams in St. Petersburg used to be the main mean of transport, in the 1980s this was the largest tram network in the world, but many tracks were dismantled in the 2000s. Buses carry up to 3 million passengers daily, serving over 250 urban and a number of suburban bus routes. St. Petersburg Metro Underground Rapid Transit System was opened in 1955. It now has five lines with 69 stations, connecting all five railway terminals, and carrying 2.3 million passengers daily. Metro stations are often elaborately decorated with materials such as marble and bronze. As of 2018, the St. Petersburg Metro will include new stations, Prospect Slavy, Dunayskaya, Shushery, Bogovaya, and Novokrestovskaya, the latter built specifically to offer convenient access to the stadium during the 2018 FIFA World Cup games and games played by FC Zenit. 4. Traffic jams are common in the city due to daily commuter traffic volumes, intercity traffic and excessive winter snow. The construction of freeways such as the St. Petersburg Ring Road, completed in 2011, and the Western High Speed Diameter, completed in 2017, helped partially reduce the traffic in the city. The controversial M11, also known as the Moscow-St. Petersburg Motorway, would connect St. Petersburg and Moscow by a freeway and is expected to be completed before the Russia FIFA World Cup 2018. Construction has started in 2010 and the first sections of the freeway was finished in 2014 and 2015. St. Petersburg is an important transport corridor linking Scandinavia to Russia and Eastern Europe. The city is a node of the international European routes E18 towards Helsinki, E20 towards Tallinn, E95 towards Pskov, Kiev and Odessa and E105 towards Petrozavodsk, Murmansk and Kirkenis north and towards Moscow and Kharkiv south. St. Petersburg public transportation statistics The average amount of time people spend commuting with public transit in St. Petersburg, for example to and from work, on a weekday is 69 minutes. 19.6% .6 of public transit riders, ride for more than two hours every day. The average amount of time people wait at a stop or station for public transit is 11 minutes, while 16.1% of riders wait for over 20 minutes on average every day. The average distance people usually ride in a single trip with public transit is 7 km, while 15.0% travel for over 12 km in a single direction. Waterways The city is also served by passenger and cargo seaports in the Neva Bay of the Gulf of Finland, Baltic Sea, the river port higher up the Neva and tens of smaller passenger stations on both banks of the Neva River. It is a terminus of both the Volga Baltic and White Sea Baltic waterways. The first high bridge that does not need to be drawn, a 2,824-metre long Big Obikovsky Bridge, opened in 2004. Meteor hydrofoils link the city centre to the coastal towns of Kronstadt, Lomonosov, Petergoff, Sesteretsk and Zelenogorsk from May through October. In the warmer months many smaller boats and water taxis manoeuvre the canals throughout the city. The shipping company St. Peter Line operates two ferries that sail from Helsinki to St. Petersburg and from Stockholm to St. Petersburg. 
Topic: Rail. The city is the final destination for a web of intercity and suburban railways, served by five different railway terminals: Baltiyski, Finlyansky, Ladozhsky, Moskovsky, and Vitebsky, as well as dozens of non-terminal railway stations within the federal subject. St. Petersburg has international railway connections to Helsinki, Finland, Berlin, Germany and many former republics of the USSR. The Helsinki Railway, which was built in 1870 and is 443 kilometers (275 miles) long, has trains running four times a day in a journey lasting about three and a half hours with the new Allegro train. The Moscow-St. Petersburg Railway opened in 1851 and is 651 kilometers (405 miles) long. The commute to Moscow now requires from three and a half to nine hours. In 2009, Russian Railways launched a high-speed service for the Moscow-St. Petersburg route. The new train, known as Sapsin, is a derivative of the popular Siemens Valero train. Various versions of this already operate in some European countries. It set records for the fastest train in Russia on the 2nd of May 2009, traveling at 281 kilometers per hour, 174.6 miles per hour, and on the 7th of May 2009, traveling at 290 kilometers per hour, 180 miles per hour. Since the 12th of December 2010, Karelian Trains, a joint venture between Russian Railways and VR Finnish Railways, has been running Alstom Pendolino operated high-speed services between St. Petersburg's Finlyansky and Helsinki's Central Railway stations. These services are branded as Allegro Trains. Allegro is known for suffering some big technical problems from time to time, which sometimes result in significant delays and even cancel of tourists' trips. Topic. Air St. Petersburg is served by Polkova International Airport, and also by three smaller commercial and cargo airports in the suburbs. Lapinranta Airport, which is located near St. Petersburg but on the Finnish side of the border is also popular among Russian travelers. Polkova Airport was opened to passengers as a small aerodrome in 1931. As of 2013, the Polkova Airport, which handles over 12 million passengers annually, is the third busiest in Russia after Moscow's Sheremetyevo and Domodedovo. As a result, the steadily increasing passenger traffic has triggered a massive modernization of the entire airport infrastructure. A newly built Terminal 1 of the Polkova Airport was put into operation on 4 December 2013 and integrated international flights of the former Terminal Pulkovo 2. The renovated terminal PULKOV01 has been opened for domestic flights as an extension of the Terminal 1 in 2015. There is a regular rapid bus connection buses 39, 39E, K39 between Polkova Airport and the Moskovskaya Metro Station as well as 24-7 taxi service. Topic. Parks St. Petersburg is home to numerous parks and gardens, some of the most famous of which are situated in the southern suburbs, including one of the largest English gardens in Europe in Pavlovsk. Sosnovka is the largest park within the limits of the city proper, occupying 240 hectares. The summer garden is the oldest one, dating back to the early 18th century and designed in the regular style. It is situated on the southern bank of the Neva at the head of the Fontanka and is famous for its cast iron railing and marble sculptures. Among other notable parks are the Maritime Victory Park on Krestovsky Island and the Moscow Victory Park in the south, both commemorating the victory over Nazi Germany in the Second World War, as well as the Central Park of Culture and Leisure occupying Yelijan Island and the Tauride Garden around the Tauride Palace. The most common trees grown in the parks are the English oak, Norway maple, green ash, silver birch, Siberian larch, blue spruce, crack willow, limes, and poplars. Important dendrological collections dating back to the 19th century are hosted by the St. Petersburg Botanical Garden and the Park of the Forestry Academy. In order to commemorate 300 years anniversary of St. Petersburg a new park was laid out. The park is situated in the northwestern part of the city. The construction was started in 1995. It is planned to connect the park with the pedestrian bridge to the territory of Lakta Center's recreation areas. In the park 300 trees of valuable sorts, 300 decorative apple trees, 70 limes. 300 other trees and bushes were planted. 
These trees were presented to St. Petersburg by noncommercial and educational organizations of the city, its sister cities, City of Helsinki, heads of other regions of Russia, German Savings Bank and other people and organizations. Topic. Famous people Mikhail Kutuzov Alexander Bloch Dmitry Shostakovich Peter II of Russia Alexander III Vladimir Putin Dmitry Medvedev Nicholas Rarik Joseph Brodsky Kolya Vasin Mikhail Boyarsky Topic. Crime The crime dynamic in St. Petersburg is tightly associated with the general social situation in the country. A sharp spike in the crime level occurred in the late 1980s, early 1990s as a result of the perestroika time turmoils redistribution of property, privatization, decline of living standards, decrease of the effectiveness of militia etc. By then the city had fallen under the control of a number of organized criminal groups such as Tombov Gang, Militiev Gang, Kazan Gang and ethnic criminal groups, engaged in racket, extortion, paying off local government and violent clashes with each other. After the assassinations of City Property Committee Chairman and Vice Governor Mikhail Manovich 1997, State Duma Deputy Galina Starovoitova 1998, Acting City Legislature Speaker Viktor Novosyolov 1999, and a number of prominent businesspeople, St. Petersburg was dubbed capital of crime in the Russian press. There were a number of movies filmed in St. Petersburg about the life of crime, Bandit Petersburg and Brother, reinforcing its image as the crime capital of Russia. According to official sources, the number of crimes committed by foreigners in St. Petersburg in 2010 increased by 11.1%. Law enforcement authorities consider this was associated with an increased number of people from some CIS republics who live in St. Petersburg illegally. On the other hand, some media reported that in recent years there had been a notable increase in racially motivated violence, in particular towards foreign students. One of the notable white supremacist groups, Balea Energia white energy, inspired by U.S. white power groups has reportedly been one of the gangs involved in murdering foreign university students. The official portal of the government of St. Petersburg provided data on significant improvements in the crime situation. In particular, it was reported that the number of crimes against tourists had decreased by more than half during 2009 to 2011. In 2012, Canada's Department of Foreign Affairs warned LGBT travelers about a vaguely worded law in St. Petersburg that came into effect on the 17th of March 2012, making it a criminal offense to publicize acts of male or female homosexuality, bisexuality, or transgenderism. The intention of the law is to protect minors. A Russian travel advisory on the Foreign Affairs website notes that while homosexuality is legal in Russia it was decriminalized in 1993, LGBT Canadian travelers should avoid "...displaying affection in public, as homosexuals can be targets of violence." Public actions including dissemination of information, statements, displays or conspicuous behavior contradicting or appearing to contradict this law may lead to arrest, prosecution and the imposition of a fine. <laughs> Twin towns and sister cities Milan and Venice were formerly twin cities of St. Petersburg, but suspended this link due to St. Petersburg's ban on gay propaganda. Milan suspended the relationship with St. Petersburg on 23 November 2012 and Venice did so on 28 January 2013. See also Flag of St. Petersburg Hotels in St. Petersburg List of buildings and structures in St. Petersburg List of bridges in St. Petersburg List of theaters in St. Petersburg List of museums in St. Petersburg List of St. Petersburg metro stations List of notable people from St. Petersburg List of consulates in St. Petersburg List of St. Petersburg sister cities Outline of St. Petersburg Topic. Notes Topic. References 
Topic Sources Topic External Links City Tourist Portal Street Petersburg 2018 FIFA World Cup host city on YouTube by FIFA St. Petersburg on In Our Time at the BBC St. Petersburg, Virtual Tour 360 Degrees Aerial Panorama Bob Atchinson 2010. St. Petersburg, 1900, a photographic travelogue of the capital of Imperial Russia. Retrieved 9 February 2011 50 photographs of St. Petersburg from Travelogues of Burton Holmes Volume 8, 1914 and other sources Officialnij portal Administracy Sankt Peterburg the official portal of the St. Petersburg City Authority in Russian. The St. Petersburg City Authority, 191060, St. Petersburg, Smolny Administracia Sankt Peterburg 191060, Spiby Smolnij 2001-2011. Retrieved 9 February 2011. Encyclopedia of St. Petersburg. St. Petersburg, The Likachev Foundation, 2004. Retrieved 9 February 2011 3,500 entries, 9,200 personalities, 3,500 addresses, 2,000 pictures and 40 geographical maps, 3,800 bibliographical references from the original Encyclopedia of St. Petersburg, SPB, Rospen, 2004. Baikov vd Leningradsky Hironiki at Poslevoni 50h du. Leha 90h. M. Karamzin 2017. 486s. In English, Leningrad Chronicles, from the post-war 50s to the wild 90s. ISBN 978-5-00071-516-1.